at times when people have faded away from your life, those who have gone quiet into dust, nothing left but an abysmal, desolate abyss. The wallowing screams of your own voice echo and there is nothing else around to you. However unknown to yourself, that person could still be around. Watching you, every move, every step you make, listening in on you, every decision, and every word you use, <laughs> you have no idea the unpredictable nature of certain humans and the lengths they will go to. In this video, I'll be sharing with you yet more strange activity at the hands of the M Cave hiker known as Really. Robin. Really, really Robin. A strange case indeed. An individual who created their YouTube channel back in 2018, uploading a range of videos, including Area 51 related stuff. A person who seemed somewhat normal and innocent, from the way he sounded to the way he looked. What's going on, Rob Mob? It's your boy Sonic JK. It's your boy Really Robin. What's good, Rob Mob? Look how high that is, guys. This is up to like my shoulders, so like four feet, um, three and a half, something like that. But that is definitely put there as a warning. And then suddenly changing in behavior, tone of voice and body language. Who's ever planning on going out and looking for the cave, don't do it, I'm telling you right now, I'm warning you, don't go out there. Whatever, just whatever you do, don't go there. They'll kill you. What caused that change? Now there is many speculation and a split down the middle, ranging from the theories that really rub in was a victim and caught up in solving the mystery. Something silenced him. But other people think different and believe Robin wasn't so innocent in that he did play a part in either covering up, misdirecting, retrieving information, or even trying to set somebody up like Sean. We will get into further information regarding that. But before I share that information with you, as a backstory and to fill in from Sean's point of view, let me show you how things developed. Okay, so someone said earlier, uh, what happened to that guy, really, Robin? Uh, he said he solved the mystery of Kenny Beach. I don't know, I haven't, but he started emailing me, being kind of weird. Hey, and bless your heart, really, Robin. Maybe, maybe we had a misunderstanding of stuff, but I felt like I was being pretty direct, you know, with uh, what I wanted to get from you in communication, and you just you weren't giving it to me. So, okay, let's get into the fate revealed. Let's see what he says right here. The following interview is an, of an encounter that happened 4.10 a.m. in Nevada on August 28, 2018, SR 160 between mile marker 34 and 35. Oh, wait, hold on. The dude, he's... I know. <laughs> this is just getting interesting because now I'm, I clicked on a video on his channel and he's interviewing somebody that I know. So who apparently has information connected to the, you know, 
so it landed really hard. Uh, wings and arms extended out, uh, fully extended, and it just landed hard and fast on the street like this. Mm. And then it just did like this. So I could see it from a good distance. What is going on right now? I used to work in corrections in Nevada. And yeah, I worked with that guy at the biggest facility, High Desert. I gotta call that dude. I freaking know him. But after that, it is unknown to what exactly happened between Sean and Robin. However, from the response I saw from Sean, it seems likely there was contact between Sean and Robin at some point. Who knows whether it was via email, a phone call, or an actual meetup. But from what Sean said about it being a setup and Robin was trying to infiltrate him, it doesn't look good. From what seemed like an innocent, kind of funny coincidence coming across, a person Sean used to work with, to now things being much more serious, darker, and the possibility that Sean found out or already knew in the back of his mind that there was more to it, a darker reason. Something only Sean knows. Nobody else does. Who knows how serious it could be, or what Robin would have done if there was no suspicion. You never know. Let us get into the information to get a rough idea of what could have gone down. So, let us get into the first bit of information. Now this was from Jeff Clark, who said, The Fred, GLP, talked about them both being cops and Robin being a plant slash spy that is assigned to these various mysteries. He shows up to collect info and then disappears, moves on to the next one. Kind of made sense, since he did that with the Storm the Area 51 videos, and then moved on to the M Cave and kept trying to meet up with me and Sean. Then Sean started saying, Robin tried to set me up, so Robin disappeared again. Now that's interesting that. So Robin was going to meet up with Jeff Clark as well as Sean. Now I'm not quite sure if Robin successfully met up with Sean. He wasn't successful with Jeff. And maybe that was a good thing because who knows what else could have happened. Let's move on to that thread. So this is the key information which did pop up which could give a bit of backstory regarding Sean and his change in behaviour. It states, They are all cops. Sean, Jensen, really Robin, really Robin's creature witness, wake up. Really Robin has been a plant in all of these ongoing issues. And Sean knows it. Sean even admits that he knows Robin's witness. Robin is learning information about Area 51 crowd, the MK crowd, and feeding them false information. Why else do you think that he gets involved with certain issues and then suddenly changes and erases his past? Sean caught him at it, but doesn't want to risk it by explaining. Anyone who learns too much or is leading efforts to learn too much is at risk. Sean is warning you without warning you. So, that is interesting. I don't know who Jensen is, but that is some other guy out there. As for the information, it makes sense about moving on from one topic to another and erasing the past, as really Robin deleted his past videos, such as Area 51, and then the M Cave. Who knows, maybe Robin has another channel out there on YouTube and is covering something else and retrieving more information. 
The real question is though, why? Why is Robin, if he is a spy, doing this? In addition to that thread, there was another comment left saying, bingo, really Robin infiltrated the Area 51 storming. And after that assignment, did a short M cave hike to gain some credibility with them. He is now off onto his next assignment since Sean blew up this one. Sean used his own back channels to learn about him and is telling as much as he can without getting himself fired. Now, who knows whether that is fully true or not, but it makes sense due to the nature of how Sean has acted and what he gained through the actions he took. It is also understandable with respect to him that one cannot say too much as there is a great risk in doing so. So that is understandable at the end of the day. Overall, it is very weird how it was Sean who was targeted. Now, most likely, it's because Sean was really the main one, the original one, and at some point the only one to be involved actually hiking out there. Now, if we link back to Jeff Clark, who also played a part and also went out there in 2017 or so, really Robin wanted to meet with him. So it makes sense to why Robin targeted those two people as they were the most hands-on. But it makes you think, what could have happened if the likes of Scott Natal, Aqua Chigger, Jay Silverheels, Jay Chuck, Mystery Hikes, if they were around at the time when Robin was, would they have all been interviewed? Would they have all been met up? Who knows what could have happened, the extent. So now, let us look back briefly at Really Robin's reply in response to his content being removed off his channel. And let's see if there are any suspicions around his replies. So these are some of the replies by Robin in my Q&A. The first one being when I asked him about Sean being followed out and Robin replied with, there are dark forces watching him, the demons. It's a miracle they didn't kill him. Now, it ties in with what really Robin said originally about his idea that it's demons that are responsible for Kenny and they could have been responsible for Sean if Sean wasn't lucky to survive. That's basically what Robin's getting at. And then another key point. No, it wasn't the true M cave. This is in response to when I asked him about Sean's covered cave. Once again, Robin replied and said, it is and should remain undiscovered. Now that is interesting. It seems as if Robin doesn't want anyone to find it for a certain reason we don't know of. What is this cave hiding? What lies within it? Does Robin know? Why does Robin not want anyone to find it? Is Robin in on it? Was he hired? Was he brought in to make sure people do not find it? it does seem a little bit odd, that reply. It's as if there's either some kind of dangerous thing or some hidden secret which is linked with the cave and Robin doesn't want anyone to know. That's what it seems like. Another reply by Robin was about demons, how they can influence people to do vile things. Now, if the theories and ideas are true, that Robin played a part in setting people up, receiving information and kind of blending in, you could say that's a bad thing for someone to do. So was Robin influenced by demons as well? Does that go against his religion? Is there some kind of conflict? Is there some kind of outside dark force influencing Robin? Many questions. And then this one. Gladly no, but my friend who allowed me to interview did. He didn't even know what it was, but he does now. He never heard of the disappearance of Kenny either. 
This reply is in response to the interview with that ex-prison guard that and he interviewed him, Robin did. There you go, that's what it looks like, the interview, but doesn't exist now. And then this was Robin's other reply about his channel being removed. And this was his other reply about his content being removed. It was my personal conviction to stop social media and making YouTube videos. They kept interfering with my relationship with God. And then finally, Robin replied in another question I asked, when did he get involved? I knew about their presence, which is the demons, in late April 2020. After a while of lockdowns in the US, I finally had time to look into the mystery I heard about since it was local. When they finally opened the range, I went on June 16th and June 27th. I knew they were there and I knew I had to get some video evidence of me there so people knew I was, wasn't was making it up. I had to film in the daytime and leave before dark. That's when they come out. When they come out, well, that's reference and links on to what Robin was saying about Sean, how demons were there following him out because it was dark. So it ties in with that point. And then lastly, Robin's response in terms of his behaviour in his, you know, final video, final words of him was, I was nervous reading the script. I had a third video Q&A planned, not in danger, just try not to stutter as I read. But I don't think I'll do that. Too many negative comments on my end. I'll turn off comments soon because of this. Now this is interesting because the very last two videos, part one, part two, was the interview, as well as Robin, you know, just describing what's going to happen and that you shouldn't go back there. They're really the two videos, the last ones. And yet, there was a third one, an unreleased video, unmade one, of a Q&A. How could that video have tailed out? How could it have gone? What could have been in that Q&A? Who would have been asking the questions? Was he going to ask people? Was he going to get people to make questions up? And who are those people anyway? The viewers or other people out there? You know, could that third video have explained everything, cleared everything up? Or was it not uploaded in the end because he got caught out? Or something became too late, so he couldn't do it? You know, just like with Kenny Veach, how Kenny Veach had the odd bit of footage here and there which was never uploaded. Yeah, I think the girlfriend has that footage which has not been uploaded. So same with Robin, maybe a potential video or two, or the idea of making one never came to surface. Could it have made things clear? Could it have made things easier to understand? You never know. It's a Q&A at the end of the day. It would have cleared certain things up, especially if he wanted people to reply back and give feedback. Now, yes, I did my Q&A with him. Don't know if that influenced him to make his. I don't know, but we're never going to find out. Now, in conclusion, what is the reasoning behind really Robin's actions if that's what he is, a spy? Where is he operating? How far has he reached out? Is he working in multiple states or worldwide? And what does the link between being involved with Area 51 as well as MCAVE have to do. Yes, they're within the same state. And I guess location, the desert itself. But is there a link between the two? That would highlight more suspicion, would it not? And it would make sense to really Robin's comment about no one better find that covered cave, it's for the best. Maybe Robin knows what is behind that cave inside and maybe it could be linked with Area 51. You never know, because there is a correlation between the two, as Robin covered both, and he both deleted them. 
afterwards. It makes sense in one way that he deleted his content and moved on to remove all traces of evidence if he was caught out. It doesn't quite make sense about Robin deleting that stuff because it was interfering his life with God and religion. If it was that much of a problem, then surely the individual would have just deleted their whole YouTube channel completely. He did not. Nevertheless, the disappearance of Robin is still mysterious to this day. Although I got a few answers from him, maybe they weren't all entirely true. And I guess we will never know or find out what that third video was truly about, that being the Q&A. Who knows what questions and answers could have come about. But at the end of the day, Robin is out there somewhere, doing whatever, wherever. Maybe he may show up again in the future, or maybe he is watching right now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any additional information you would like to share, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.